Hello everyone, this is Oregon Moto John, and stay tuned to see the KTM 890 Adventure R get near 10,000 RPM during acceleration. Um, on the KTM 890 Adventure R, beautiful morning, have a little break in the sun, and uh, I'm going to do a quick video on the spike and going up to 10,000 RPM. I mean, most of the time, honestly, uh, two and a half thousand to four thousand RPM, four and a half, you can do everything you need to do. Like right now, you can see I'm, you know, shifted around three thousand to four thousand RPM, and it's got plenty of grunt to just do whatever it needs to do because of the torque. But if you did want to rev this out and have enjoy the nature of riding that that provides, that's kind of fun too. I mean, I it sounds weird to say this, but I mean this. 890 gives you the spirited acceleration of a um, of a sport bike. Now, I'm not saying like full on crotch rocket acceleration, although um, this would be on the heels of one if if, if you weren't on like a, a track. And even then, I think it could do okay. No, don't get me wrong; I'm not going to keep up with a sport bike on this thing, but it's it's surprisingly brisk acceleration. I will say that. So I just want to do a little clip showing. Um, Revving the bike out, I know I'll go all the way to 10,000 RPM, but I'll give it a little a little rev here. Okay, let's see what we got. Wheelies. It's about eight grand. Very, very spirited acceleration. Very impressive. Um, so again, let's slow it back down. Slow down, slow down, slow down first gear, here we are, it's about 8,000 RPM shift, very, very good spirited acceleration there, very impressive. So just a quick little sample of what that'll do when you rev it out, and that was even just going to about eight, eight and a half, nine, so not really revving it out as high as you could go but very very spirited acceleration super impressed so we're going to do a little pull from basically a standstill a little flame out there wow it pulls the front end up very easily wow very impressive and i was shifting between eight to nine thousand rpm Maybe it got a little higher than that at times, but, and again, this bike has so much torque, you don't really need to do that. Between two and, two and a half to four and a half, 5,000 RPM, you got plenty of grunt to get done, which you need to get done. But if you do want to rev it out, it will perform. So pretty, kind of gives you the best of both worlds. That's very impressive. Uh, but you don't want to do that. You know, get some miles on your bike first before you break it in. I didn't even attempt anything till my motor's warm. I've been riding about an hour already, and I got about 775 miles on this bike, so I would get at least that, um, or close to a thousand. So, uh, you know, you want to break in your motor before you start pushing it, and have a warm motor. I think even if a motor's broke in and you're doing that before your um, your oil temps up, it can be a bad thing. I mean, it took me it took me a while to figure out that. And I learned this through cars and bikes, but your, your, of course your water temp heats up way before your oil temp. So on your gauge here, you'll get four bars saying your, um, your engine's warm, right? Quote unquote warm. Well, your coolant's warm, yes. But the engine oil lubricating the components of your motor is not warm yet. So how long does that take? Well, depending on weather, I mean, it could be 10 minutes, it could be 30 minutes. So. Just to be on the safe side, I just, I don't push my machines that hard anyway, but I'll wait for um, maybe 20 to 30 minutes at least if I'm gonna really do like what I just did where I'm pushing the RPMs closer to red line. I'm gonna make sure that motor is broke in um, um, and, the, and the oil is warm. So just some tips if you're gonna start pushing your machine, you know, treat it right. Don't, you don't need to abuse these things, they're expensive and we want them to last. Um, and if you do that, 
I just haven't had any trouble troubles with any of my motors on my cars or my motorcycles. None of them use oil. Um, have just haven't had any internal problems. My valves valves don't seem to go out of spec on things that need adjustment. So, anyway, little sample of KTM getting some higher RPMs on it near 10k, and uh, very impressive. Have an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. More videos on motorcycle related content to come.